I'm Sir Tap Tap, and we're just gonna do a quick little overview of the springtime event and dessert connoisseur things. So, the big deal is springtime, which lets you summon uh, and get shards for tortoise jelly and sweet and sour fish. Uh, Sweet and Sour Fish is the main event here. She is basically exclusive to this event, at least for now. Tortoise Jelly is pretty hard to get, but you can get him in the Chuchigumo uh, hard mode team-up events. Uh, it'll take you a while, and it's, you need a very high level to do so, but it is possible. So if you only get one, I would really recommend Sweet and Sour Fish, just for the exclusivity. You can also get some other rewards, uh, including an exclusive... Uh, banner here, but I really would recommend focusing on the food soul. At least that's, you know, personally I care more about collecting all of the duders. They're Pokemon to me, really. Um, that I care about, you know, showing other people that, hey, I got, you know, fancy boy, fancy skin for my fancy boy avatar. But basically it has its own little story mode here, and uh, I did a live stream where I showed the whole story, and maybe I'll edit that up into a, like a easily watchable video. But basically the way it works is you just have these combat stages that are very easy. Uh, recommended difficulty or recommended level is level 30. Uh, if you're above level 30 you just blaze right through. I don't know exactly how hard they are at level 30, but really pretty much anybody that plays moderately intensely should be able to get to level 30 in like a week or so? It's been a while, but it shouldn't be crazy difficult, uh, even if you're fairly new to the game. If you start after the event starts, you might be screwed, but that's kind of true with any event, right? Um, so the way this works is you get... Let me recharge just so I can show you. Um, you can ch challenge these stages, and you can get these heart seals, and you can get this uh, logic or rational or reason seal. And um, basically it's like an emotion versus logic kind of event. You know, a Spock versus McCoy event. And uh, if you want sweet and sour fish, what I would recommend you do is there's two chests. And you have to pay some gems to reset and, you know, get both chests. If you just want sweet and sour fish, which like I said is kind of what I recommend, um, you want to answer all of these, there's like visual novel events in these plot stages. So I'm going to give you the answers that you need for each thing. So there are six different stories There's uh, or things to answer, questions to answer. There are three different answers for each. So I'm going to call the top option A, middle option B, last option C. So for sweet and sour fish, what you want to do for one, two, the answer is B. Um, there'll be a little spreadsheet, or like, I'll link to the guide in the description if, uh, you know, if I'm too fast, but basically the first one is B, second one is C, and I'll probably do a little overlay on this so you can see. Um, the third one, this is for sweet and sour fish, remember, third one is A, fourth one is C, fifth one is B, and the last one is A. So with all of them, with the right answer for sweet and sour fish, you can claim the chest. You have to get um, 68 reason and logic seals for each, so that does require a fair amount of grinding. And uh, you get 100 free stamina for per day. There's a special stamina just for this event, um, so it doesn't c conflict with your regular stamina. Um, so you get, you know, you'll get a thousand, I guess. I think this runs for 10 days, so you should get a thousand free stamina. Um, you will probably need to spend some extra stamina, which I have done. To, uh, to play this, but um, I mean think about it, if you were to summon and try to get a, a soul, you'd expect maybe, you know, it's I think it's 600 gems to summon six times, and if I summon six times, I usually get five R's, you know, if I spent ten, I would expect maybe an SR, so I think spending, I think somebody said they spent about 500 or 600 crystals to get just sweet and sour fish. Um, zero stars, did not get tortoise jelly at all. Um, I think that's pretty good, especially for a, basically an exclusive soul. Um, it's definitely better rewards you can get for the Toso thing for spending like thousands of crystals. Um, I'm personally expecting to spend about a thousand myself if I plan to get both. And I, I think that's not crazy bad. As you can see, I opened both chests, which if you're only going for one, like I said, go for just one chest. But, um, ooh, I um, did not mean to forget, but if you want tortoise jelly instead, here are the options for tortoise jelly. For tortoise jelly, you need to answer A for that one, A for the first one, A for the second one, B for the third one, and 
Then for the fourth one, you need to answer A. Then the last two are C and C. And if you get these wrong, there's a little refresh icon that you can spend, uh, I think it's like just 15 crystals, to reset. And you actually get a little reward for resetting. It's not really quite worth, you know, resetting on purpose. But uh, if you make a mistake, don't worry, it's not written in stone forever. You spend 15 crystals. And it might seem expensive and stuff, but do remember, you get about 50 free crystals per day. So if you've been saving up crystals uh, with or without the uh, monthly pass, um, you might have enough to not, you know, panic too much here. And this is this is kind of why I tend to save up my gems, because sometimes you, they can put put you just a little bit over the edge on an event that you wouldn't otherwise be able to finish. So let's go back to those rewards. Um, so personally, I'm going for sweet and sour fish. So I need a bunch of reason seals. Like I said, there's a there's a cute story. I like the story element. I think the grindiness is a bit. It feels a bit plain, because I mean, it's literally just, you go in here, you buy stamina, you, you go, you do this, or alternately you wait for stamina, but it's like, it's a daily reset of exactly 100, it doesn't reset, um, like every five minutes, like the regular stamina, so basically I just bought a bunch of reason seals, now I can go exchange, and I can buy a bunch of sweet sour fish things, and you need 60 to summon, just like every other super rare, I think. I mean, let me, let's go confirm, because I just bought some of those. Sweet and sour will be at the bottom. Do, do, do. And there's a whole cute story. I recommend actually watching, reading the story and stuff. Um, there's the fish. There she is. So I need, you know, 52 more. Like I said, it's a bit of a grind. It's kind of meant to burn some crystals, but I think compared to burning crystals directly for the summons, like, if I could spend a thousand crystals to get a specific super rare that I don't currently have, I would totally do that. I would totally go for that. So, that is pretty much the springtime thing. Um, if anything was confusing, I'll link to the written guide in the description, and you can just kind of reference it that way. Um, Desert Connoisseur is just like the earlier event, where you make certain foods in the restaurant and as long as they meet certain requirements like this red bean pudding you know both lines here are green they meet the thing which by the way you shouldn't do you should not use red and green to differentiate good and bad um try red and blue instead that's much more colorblind friendly uh, pretty significant portion of people are actually colorblind but um yeah i actually have all these three you only need one of these all of these have the same eating time um Chai Sui Bao, which is a lost food that everybody can make, actually gives the most fame, which generally people want fame above all of the other food stats. So I would recommend making Chai Sui Bao. And um, basically you just make the food that people want. You make sure it has enough stats first, obviously. And then every time that they eat the thing, you can go back into the restaurant and it'll say, hey, you've earned X amount of chests like that. What is inside the chest, you ask? Um, ah, what the heck? I'll open them. Um, you can actually keep these. These do not get sold automatically at the end of the event. But basically there's like a, like a 2% chance that each one will be stamina, tips, or cooking power, and the rest will be gold. Um, the, the amount of tips and cooking power are pretty negligible, but the amount of stamina you get is pretty legit. You can get several days of extra stamina per, you know, day of doing the event, so... And like I said, you can keep those chests for, like, if there's a later event, like the Sakura event, where you need to grind lots of stages, you can save those chests up and open them then. And I would probably recommend that, unless you have something moderately urgent that you want to spend the, uh, the stuff on. Depends how much, you know instant satisfaction you need, but uh, that's what I would recommend. So, those are the two events that are currently going on. Um, I do believe the cheese and pizza event are coming up, is coming up, like a limited pull kind of thing. So I would recommend saving your embers for now. Um, in these Gashapon games, that's kind of what you always want to do. You don't want to pull off a banner, because if you're going to pull for the limited banners anyway, loud you're going to get um you're going to get the people that aren't on the banner when trying to pull on the banner right because that's just how it goes so um i just save everything for the banner and i would recommend doing that personally so that's pretty much both the events hope that helps